You all right, buddy? Brian didn't know the first thing about being a goose dad. Probably because Brian wasn't a goose. But when he found this little gosling all alone outside with no mama goose to help keep her warm, he knew he had to help. So he carefully picked her up and took her home. Brian hoped that someday she'd be strong enough to go back to the wild. When he had found her, she could barely hold up her head. But soon, she was standing up, eating, and waddling. She was growing fast, so fast that Brian hadn't had time to give her a name. So Brian took a good look at her and thought of the perfect one, Waddles. Waddles loved being Brian's baby goose. You can't eat my hair, go fussy. She cuddled with him, played with him, and followed him everywhere. It was like she couldn't get close enough. Out of my way, dogs! But Brian was about to face his biggest goose dad challenge yet. Because in order to go back to the wild, Waddles would have to learn one very important thing how to fly. Come on. And Brian would have to teach her. He'd been a perfect goose dad so far, but could he do it without actually, you know, flying? There was only one way to find out. Brian started to run, flapping his arms as he went, and Waddles ran after him, spreading out her wings. They practiced over and over, but that was as much as Brian could show her. Waddles would need to figure out the taking off part on her own. So she kept practicing just like Brian had shown her until one day, she flew. Brian was so proud of her. Now Waddles could go back to life in the wild whenever she wanted to. But even though she was a wild goose again, she always came back to see her dad. Until one day, Waddles stopped visiting. Brian had a feeling something was wrong. He looked everywhere for her. And when he finally found her, her wing was drooping. She'd been in an accident. Waddles would need surgery for her wing, but Brian couldn't afford it by himself. Brian had already rescued Waddles once. Could he do it again? Then he had an idea. He posted pictures and videos online, and people all over the world got to see Waddles. They loved the story of how he had rescued her, raised her, and even taught her to fly. So when Brian asked for help, lots of people chipped in to pay for Waddles' surgery. When she got home from the animal hospital, Brian watched over her while she healed. You like your water? And before too long, Waddles was back to being the same silly, loving goose she'd always been. And even though she couldn't live on her own in the wild again, Waddles was so happy to have Brian as her forever dad. The dad who had rescued her not once, but twice. You go, Goose Dad! the kittens find the subscribe button.